Hello and welcome to the history of movie theaters and drive-ins in Fort Wayne for 1930 to 1959. Nineteen thirty. RKO leases the Amboyd, Jefferson, and Palace theaters. The Paramount Theater opens on October fourth, nineteen thirty one. The Lincoln Theater opens on November 8th. The Palace Theater is closed by RKO. 1931. The Majestic Theater starts to show movies for a short period. 1932. The Family Theater opens on January 22nd. 1933. RKO Theaters end its lease on the Amboyd, Jefferson, and Palace Theaters. The Indiana Theater places its first ad on April 13th. The Palace Theater reopens on December 24. The Lincoln and Transfer Theater closes. 1936. The Shirley Theater opens on April 11 at the site of the Strand Theater. 1937. The Shirley Theater closes in April for a parking lot and gas station. 1939 The Creighton Theater reopens as the Eastern Theater on February 11th. The Drive-In Theater opens on May 30th. 1940 The Lyric Theater closes. 1941 The Old Lyric Theater reopens as the Wayne Theater on March 28th. The Drive-In closes. 1946 The Jefferson Theater closes on December 21st. 1947 The Jefferson Theater is opened by Alliance Theater Corporation on August 20th. 1948 The drive-in reopens as the Wayne Auto on June 30th. The Fort Wayne drive-in opens on August 27th. 1949 The 1949 Old Family Theater reopens as the Rodeo Theater on November 25th. 1950 The Wayne Auto reopens as the Sunset Auto on April 8th. 1950 The East 30 Drive-In opens on October 6th. 1951 The Clyde Theater is opened by Quimby Enterprises on April 19. 1950. The Hillcrest Drive-In opens on June 15. 1951. 
These theaters closed in 1951. 1952. The Amboyd Theater became the Embassy Theater on November 12th. 1953 The Lincolndale Drive-In opens on September 11th. 1956 These theaters closed in 1956. 1958 The Old Palace Theater reopened as a live theater called the Civic Playhouse. 1959 The Wells Theater closes. 1959 Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe for more videos.